Our preparations are underway for this storm all across Southern California tonight. Our team coverage continues with KCAL News reporter Tom Waite. He's live in Long Beach with the latest there. Tom? And good evening to you, Pat. Yeah, we spoke with residents out here tonight who are packing up sandbags. Very concerned because, as you might remember, Long Beach was hit pretty hard this week with those storms that rolled through. People here really just taking no chances. Loading up his truck with sandbags, Rocco Colonna is focused on protecting his Long Beach business and his home. Soaking rains this week overwhelmed some of Long Beach's storm sewers, causing flooding, and now people here are taking no chances with the incoming storm. Real bad floods uh, yesterday. And it's supposed to be a lot worse tomorrow, I guess, this weekend. Rocco and his partner, Rome, weren't the only ones loading up on sandbags. Dave White, also from Long Beach, says storm number one gave him a scare. He's not taking any chances with round two. House was okay, but uh, a lot of water came in the garage. The recent storms have been damaging, but the incoming storm appears to be even more dangerous. The National Weather Service is warning tonight all of Southern California, from the mountains to the coast, is at risk for severe flooding and slides. Their latest forecast containing capital letters, a rare step to underscore the danger. Flooding issues will not be confined to just the foothills, mountains, and burn areas. All areas, including highly populated urban areas, will be at risk for life-threatening flooding. The Weather Service very concerned about the LA River, sending a warning also in all capital letters. The Los Angeles River will fill quickly and become a raging river and a very dangerous place to be. Anyone in that basin should be removed well before the onset of rain. LA Mayor Karen Bass pleading with Angelinos to heed the warnings. The weather can change quickly, so please stay tuned for the updates we will be providing as necessary. As city and county officials keep a close watch on the L.A. River, areas that have seen horrific destruction like Palos Verdes will be on officials' radar. In some coastal communities, berms are ready to blunt any storm surge. SkyCal also above this, residents loading up sandbags earlier here in Long Beach. One other trouble spot along the coast, San Clemente. A landslide there took out the train tracks that connect L.A. and San Diego. There are fears more soaking rains could do even more damage. Got a lot of rain coming, not tomorrow, but Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I spoke with Long Beach Fire tonight. They say they will be bringing out extra pumps to assist with the sewer drainage system. Obviously, that was overwhelmed earlier this week, yesterday in particular, with all that flood water. He also says extra personnel will be on the street. And as you heard Mayor Karen Bass there, she is monitoring the situation in L.A. So everyone obviously having those extra bodies out there trying to make sure that the storm does not get out of hand. Reporting live in Long Beach, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL News.